It's real, and, and and I see it happening today with the current migrants and stuff. But what I've said in the past was, there's no fucking way that you get twenty, thirty stores, Seven Elevens, corner stores that are all Somalian owned or all you know this owned or that owned without nothing was a nobody was able to tell them hey just randomly some dude over there in ethiopia was just like you know what i'm gonna give me a gas station out there in dallas texas you know what i'm saying i heard it was cool and easy i just have a couple of steps no you have to come here it's already many steps to just to get here and then you go through how many steps to get a gas station i don't even know how to get a gas uh uh a person to, to what do you call vendor to send me gas you know what i'm saying so that's the difference between our culture in a lot of uh, other cultures, you know, is um, they're found, they're connected mm -hmm. a lot. And I'm not going to say, you know, people don't have their issues and, you know, I, I'd be overgeneralizing. But in a lot of part, like a lot of the family issues that we have, a lot of cultures either don't have that or able to work through that and still conduct business. So, you know, whether if they've been into America or not, like they have family that's been over there, that's in the industry. They come over there, they bringing them with Doing welcome, the with shit. arms, bro. Teaching them, come work this, you know, but you, you have a family member over here, a lot of times that shit don't work out. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just to, just to, and furthermore, so that's just, they have an extra uh, resource, extra uh, layer of resources in terms of education and access to how to maneuver in different industries. You know, what if that's the uh, the gas industry, the convenience industry, the goddamn hotel industry, they in all of that, you know what I'm saying? But furthermore, um, you know, um, you know, in our communities, like we, we just don't have that, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, we, we don't have that. We we need to have that. Like, you know I'm, I'm starting to see with the current migrants, like in different states, where they're offering them, and this may not be with everybody in all cultures, but they're offering them, you know, assistance. Besides the normal assistance, they're offering them job training, uh, uh, business training, or training to get a business up. New credit. New credit. So you come in, you got new credit, you got access to capital, you have training to get a business on on different things, and then they're gonna likely zone them to certain areas. Like, oh, don't open the business up over here, you know. So to me, I think the white people and the government people, but whoever they also have a hand in assisting people over us because it's not too yeah. hard to be like, hey, niggas, here's a place where you can go for all the things you need to know about some of the bases and getting your own convenience store, getting your own grocery store. Here's how you can find vendors and, you know, get your commercial this and that and the third or whatever. Yeah, so I feel like, just to be honest, man, like, it's really not up to anybody to teach us. Like, you know, it's not up for the white folks to teach us. It's really on our, us to teach us you know we have enough people in our community that have the money that's in the in the positions um that have the knowledge the insight like we're the most wealthy that we've ever been you know what i'm saying we have uh, the most educated that we've ever been we have the first black people the most first black people to do this you know what i'm saying that we've ever had you know so we got it we just got to come together you know what i'm saying whatever that looks like you know um but, you know, I feel like, you know, man, just to, there are so many things that we have to check in our own culture before we even focus on other people that we could um, we could pull our own selves up out of our condition. That's what we're going to have to do. You know what I mean? Like even just take it like even after slavery, bro, like in the reconstruction, a lot of black people had land in America. You know what I'm saying? A lot of black families had land. And uh, if you fast forward to today a lot of these niggas sold their land had family dis disputes and let their land go away or a lot of these families moved from their land their power because land is power they moved for their, their power and they went into the city you understand me to take part in um uh, uh, the white man's idea or whoever you know what i'm saying the white really the white man's idea you know what i'm saying they concept work their jobs and um you know use their credit and their appliances and basically um be a spark plug to their idea you understand me to their furnace you dig um 
So so but in the country, if we stayed and be, be became autonomous and self sufficient, you know what I'm saying, me, and built our own situation, like examples like in Tulsa, um, uh, Red Rose, uh, uh, Wall Street, Greenwood, all those examples. We've could have did that. Even in present time where niggas throw money in the club, you know what I'm saying? We throw racks in the club. It racks, you know what I'm saying? And we have ta tax land auctions where we could go back, buy land, you know what I'm saying, for the low, you know what I'm saying, for pe from people who didn't uh, pay their taxes, you know? So there's, there's so many different things that we could do in our own culture, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even really want to give the power to people anymore like I used to. You know, there's so many things that we could do even in Dallas um, or wherever, wherever. So I ain't got to start in here, but wherever it starts. But we just need models in our community, in our culture to say, hey, we don't necessarily have to be an entertainer. We can be somebody that's focused on, um, you know, uh, getting finances or get an income out of helping the community, you know what I'm saying? Because even, bro, like, when I was really immersed in community activism, bro, like, I ain't have no money, bro. Like, I was poor. Like, I was sleeping with people, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was, like, really but like, giving my all. Like, so it's not the money that's what's going to help you give an impact and be involved in your community. We just got to make the, the decision as a culture to say, hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to stop blaming these folk. We're going to um, start holding ourselves accountable and, and just, you know, just doing what we can to do to change our reality. But right now, everybody's focused on themselves in their own little pocket, and that's how they're able to get us and separate us.